Why are you filming again? It's for college. Ah. Uh. I can't believe you do this to me. You'll be fine. Maybe you'll even enjoy it. So, Uncle Tony, what are we getting up to this weekend? I'm not sure yet. Uh, we could go for a walk, maybe pick up some beers from the shop. Your dad won't mind that, will he? How do you honestly feel? I do have some responsibilities, though. You are familiar with Scroller? Genetically altered. Because I run the iSource community page on it, so... I know. Yeah, but... They don't. I'm not anti-vax, just anti-stupid. Lol. Boom. Mic drop. Hmm. <clears throat> so, what do you want for dinner? Alright, so Tony's vaccine comment. No one's replied because he's kind of got this chokehold on the group, right? So, who would have the authority to respond? The local GP, Heather Fraser, who conveniently doesn't have a scroller account but has a photo on the surgery website? Oh, God. Well, I can't breathe otherwise, mate. So, what is it that you do on your community page? I'm the leader. Hello. It's my job to monitor the content that's placed within the group. Trimming the fat if you will. I have to wade through all kinds of... <laughs> Another Fraser. I didn't know she was on here. Tony, I normally wouldn't jump in on these sort of comments, but since this is our community forum, I believe that I have an obligation to respond as a local medical professional. There is absolutely no scientific evidence. No scientific evidence that either the Pfizer or Oxford vaccines contribute to a change in someone's DNA. Idiocy like this is one of the reasons that we're still in this dire situation. Idiocy. Ouch. How unprofessional. Oh. Hold on, Al. I've got to respond to this, mate. That's all she talks. If I ever see her, if I ever see her in public, good God, well, I'll fucking rip her a new one. I fucking totally will rip her a new one. <sighs> Just... Having trouble there? She is the local GP, you can't just remove her. Actually, she lives in a small hamlet on the border of the town, not technically an eyesore resident. Fuck yourself. Twat. Twat. You would agree with her, wouldn't you? You would agree with her. Never heard of you. Never will, either. No, leave that behind. Oh, 
Christ. Mm. All this fuss over that poxy doctor. Um... We're at 3,112 now. Brilliant. What the fuck are you doing? It's just a transition. Go on. Well, like I was saying, I'm getting to the point where I'm struggling to be away from it all, to be quite honest. Away from what? The group! Did I not just say that? Yeah. Uh, context. This isn't going in there. Probably not, but my teacher always bangs on about getting more than you actually need. You know, so I've got enough for editing. What? Oh, hi Tony. How's your mother feeling? Hopefully that um, medication's doing the trick. Is everything okay? You you think you're clever, do you? Is it not also your responsibility to look after the mental well-being of your patients? Have you not considered even for a moment how the consequences of your actions have sown division within the community and affected everyone? What are you talking about? Why are you filming me? Alex, what are you doing? This is fantastic, we're getting her. I'm going to report you to the NHS for abuse of power. It's a wonder people like you even have the time to even be on squalor, let alone abuse your patients on it. Choose your next words carefully. I don't use squalor. What? Tony, I don't understand. Is this a prank? So I've just finished packing. Um, my uncle's still pretty mad. Had to delete the Dr. Fraser account. Fuck it! Hi. I have been posting in Dr. Fraser's name for the past few days in an attempt to prank my uncle, Tony Erickson, at me, at me. Apologies for any distress I have caused. Marvellous. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.